Uh, good morning guys, Mark Pinnacle Angling. Today, we're fishing Witch's Point. So, if I'm a little bit out of breath and a little bit hard to understand, it's because I am tackling Heartbreak Hill. There's a couple of ways to get around the witches. One of them is around the path up around, it's a lot easier. Um, but this way, I've just seen two guys walking up around. So I'm tangling with the hill. Basically, try and get on the point before them. It's a hell of a walk, but it's also a hell of a view. So, I get up onto the top and I'll come back to you. Really is beautiful, boys. And there is Witch's Point. Fantastic venue. And looks like them guys beat me up there. But they flow fishing off the front by the look of them. There's enough room on there for a few people, so we're gonna go down. We're gonna get set up. And hopefully we're gonna get into this fish. I do apologize guys. I seem to be really, really unfit. This is uh not acceptable, so I have to do something about it. But today we got a chance of anything off here. Uh, any ray species you find in the Bristol Channel, eels, bass, temperature have dropped considerably when I come into the car this morning. When I got into the car this morning, it was five degrees. Which says to me our summer have gone. Winter is coming. So we're no longer gonna catch ten tan, but hopefully we're gonna be catching some fish. Which it's nice to have a tan, but come on. I think we all agree. But we'd all prefer to be into the fish. Right, I got a little bit to go down, down to the bottom, down to the point, so I'll come back to you when I'm down there. But guys, we made it to the venue, and weather is, is pretty perfect, to be honest with you. There is a bit of a stiff northwesterly wind coming over, but we sheltered ourselves on the left hand side of the point, so. Hopefully the wind the wind noise isn't um, interfering too bad with filming. Both rods are in the water. I've got double sand deal on both rigs. Uh, using pulley panels with three O varivas, big mouth extras. Okay. Yeah, as you can see guys, the water, the water is there's hardly no swell. It's a really small tide, it's only 9.4 on Cardiff scale. So it's not great really for, for certain venues in, in the channel, but Witches is one of them venues where the smaller tides always hold a lot of water, so fingers crossed, we're not, we're not targeting anything specific today, uh, just a, a pleasure session, taking a little bit of pressure off, just, uh, just fishing for anything, but there is a chance of anything off here today, bass, eels, any species of ray that you find in the Bristol Channel, so Fingers crossed we can get into some fish and have a decent day. Uh, rigs we're using today guys, we're just using pulley panel rigs with 3-0 Varivas Big Mouth Extras. So the way I do my pulleys, um, I've got an imp connected to 80 pound Maxima Chameleon line, just a size 1 swivel. 
in between two 8mm beads following on to another size one swivel and then hook length then I've got around about two and a half foot of 60 pound ASO Classic and then on the business end we've got the uh, we've got the, the big mouth extra it's very sharp boys very nice hooks to use and also very reasonably priced as well so I've got double sandy out there at the moment I'm going to uh, some of the other baits we're using today obviously the sand deal that's what we've kindly got out there now squid calamari squid fantastic bait you can pick up these pound boxes um, usually around about the six pound mark I think bluey fantastic ray bait but I've also caught my PB bass on bluey as well so it is a very versatile bait and the main state is mackerel I've always got mackerel in my box wherever I'm going is always always a bait that uh, when times are tough sometimes a smelly bit of mackerel can, can uh, pull you out the fish so I'm gonna do a blue ear and squid wrap now not that we're targeting any any fish specifically but it, it is a bait that can pick up a number of species so I usually like to use the belly section just because it's nice and white maybe a little bit easier to see and also houses all the um the cats and the good stuff so section about the same size of light there same size your thumb that's a major all i'll do Cut off section of squid around about the same size. A couple of whip ends of elastic just to hold everything in place. Whenever I'm using squid on a cocktail bait, I'll always put the, the hook through the squid side. Squid is uh, it's a bit tougher than than the bluey. So it holds holds the hook better. Two more weapons to hold the hook in place, guys. You've got to make sure that your hook point is proud as well. The fish has got to be able to um, hook up. So masking the hooks, a big no-no. Nice and bloody, look at that, guys. Absolutely beautiful. So, panel hook now. Down to the top of the bait, through twists, through turns, in through the top, and then back out. Pull your line tight, and then that's what you're left with. Doesn't really matter whether your panel hook is coming out the same way as your bottom hook, or if it's going the other way, as long as uh, as long as the hook point is proud and able to uh, attach to the fish, it's all good. So, I'm going to get this out there now, and uh, hopefully we can get into the first fish of the session. slow so far um, one little pouting are coming for, for my mate Craig and I haven't had anything yet so we're about an hour from high water now so we're gonna change up a tactic a little bit for, for the next probably half hour before high uh, I'm gonna chuck, chuck one in close in 20-30 yards out and hope that there's a uh, hungry conger or something that uh, is patrolling patrolling the shallows into the rock so 
I'll keep it one rod out of distance and then um, hopefully a rod closer in might, might bring us a little bit of luck. Still plenty of hours fishing. Um, the wind has swung round a little bit more westerly now, so it's, uh, I'm not so tucked away now, I'm not as comfortable. But it is what it is, we've got to, we've got to go through what we've got to go through to catch the fish. So. Fingers crossed, next time we come to, I'll have a fish on. Hard to see the bites now with the wind, guys. But the left hand rod it has given two positive pull downs to the left, so we're gonna pull it in now and we're gonna have a look, see if there's anything on it. I missed that bite guys, but something has definitely had a good old tug on uh, on the sand eel bait on the bottom, so we can get this rebaited, get it back out in the same spot and see if uh, see if we can pull the fish up. Well, fishing is really tough guys, I'm still blanking hard, so Craig, my mate who I'm fishing with has pulled in a pouting and a gurnet, and uh, yeah. Yeah, for me, no, no such joy. So we still got, we still got a little while left of the tide yet. Um, we've got some fresh baits in the water. Currently using sand eel, uh, straight sand eel, and a mackerel and squid cocktail on the other one. So we'll uh, keep plugging away, keep plugging away, and fingers crossed, fingers crossed, somebody wants to take the bait. Hopefully. Guys, unfortunately, that's the end of today's episode. Um, it's the dreaded blank. We threw everything out there. Different tactics, different baits, in close, out of distance. But unfortunately, the fish didn't want to bite today. Uh, two of us came, my, my mate Craig, he, um, he pulled in a gurnard and a little poked in. But other than that, there's been nothing. So. We'll uh, choke this one down, put it in the last column and uh, move on to the next one, but I hope it was worth a watch anyway. Uh, if you could guys, please drop a like on the video, share it with a friend. really helps me get my content out there. We, um, we're really close to 500 subscribers now, so if, uh, if I could pass that by the end of the month, I would be absolutely ecstatic. So. I just want to say massive thank you to you all guys, the, the ones who are sticking around watching till the end. Um, just you even being here watching, just, it means the world, you know, so we, uh, we're definitely making progress. Just uh, today, unfortunately, isn't very successful. So we move on to the next one anyway and hope to see you soon.